Welcome to phase two of the main project. Next you're going to have your oil pastels in full action. Notice as I'm putting my name in dark black and I'm filling in the areas with different patterns. I have zigzag lines, stripe lines, curved lines, all different kind. And then I lay the oil pastels back down in their beds and I put on the case nice and neat and carefully. Thank you for taking care of the art supplies in the art studio. Now we have this gorgeous looking designy patterny word thing and you're ready for your temper paint. First you take the sque uh, squeeze bottle and you spray your watercolor temper paints. This activates the paints. They need the water to make them work. Then you have your half a cup of water and a paintbrush and you very gently swirl around in the paint and then you pick a letter that you're going to paint on and you start painting little sections of your name. Go carefully, go one at a time, take your time, watch the beautiful resist happen and enjoy it. This is the fun part after all of your hard work getting to this spot. You may decide that you want to make a pattern by using complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. For example, you'll find red opposite green, you will find blue opposite orange, and you will find purple opposite yellow. If you mixed any of these colors together, they neutralize the other color. But when you paint one color on top of the other, for the resist, the colors feel like they vibrate off of each other. Please notice how I'm scraping the paintbrush on the side of the paint pot, on the water pot. I'm not tapping it or going like uh, clicking it on the edge there. I'm scraping it gently. I'm holding the paintbrush perpendicular. I'm using the bristles of the paintbrush like you would bristles of a toothbrush on your teeth. Here's where I'm showing you don't do that, <laughs> whatever you do. No tappy tappy. You want to do the long and lovely super scrapey. Thank you for being awesome painters. Oh no, no scrubby scrubby. Please, I'm begging you, don't dig in those brand new beautiful temper cakes. Just give it a swish and a swirl. That's all you need, a swish and a swirl. Ah, lovely. And paint, and paint, and paint, and paint, and paint. I can tell I was also trying to show you don't lay that paintbrush down. Don't use the side of the metal and scrape and scrub up your paper. You want to keep those bristles doing the work, not the rest of the paintbrush. Thanks for being careful painters and showing your kindness and sharing with your friend sitting next to you. And the final thing I want to tell you is this. We're learning and we're growing. We've never done this before. This is a brand new thing for us. And so we want to just try and explore and experiment and see what happens. Be kind to yourself. I say that every time, but it's true. You have to be kind to yourself and get through all of this process to see your end results. And then you'll find they're really rather spectacular. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to mention this whole style that we're borrowing to paint like is inspired by a guy named Jasper Johns. So that's kind of a fun thing to know and an art history connection.
lastly, I might add slow and steady. That's my style. Take your time. Do it right. Go slow, steady tonight. Bye. Love you. Thanks for listening.